This is the Prism series, the new budget line of paddles from Vatic Pro. Spec-wise, they are the exact same as Vatic's original V7 and Flash paddles. They all have the same length and width dimensions, as well as the same paddle surface and edge foam in the perimeter. The only difference is in how they are manufactured. Technically, the Prism is still thermoformed, in the sense that heat needs to be applied in order to seal the edge foam and the perimeter of the paddle. But the paddle is under heat for only 30 minutes, compared to the several hours of heat exposure that the original line of paddles goes through. It's actually very similar to how Yulos Hyperion is made. I believe the term people are trying to use is called thermofoaming. Now because the prisms aren't thermoformed, you won't have to worry about potential issues like delamination, desponding, or core crushing. I'll be honest, I was not really excited when Vatic announced the prism because of how it was basically marketed as a more affordable Yola Hyperion clone. However, when I started playing around with the Hyperion more, being a cheaper clone of it isn't actually a bad thing because the Hyperion is still a really great paddle with a nice feel and sweet spot. It's just too overpriced right now and they still have issues with quality control and durability. The Prism paddles aren't direct one-to-one -one clones of the Hyperion though. For starters, they're made to be more durable, so you won't have issues with the handle snapping. Also, the dimensions of the V7 and Flash Prisms are different. The Hyperion has a 16.5 inch length with an arrow curve shape and a 5.5 inch handle. Meanwhile, the Prism V7 is the traditional rectangular elongated shape, while the Prism Flash has a 16.2 inch length with a similar arrow curve shape. Both the V7 and the Flash Prisms have a shorter 5.3 inch handles. The Prism V7 I found to be similar in terms of swing speed compared to the Hyperion, but with the Prism V7 I could also generate more power on drives. The Prism Flash was softer than both, but also swung quicker because of its shorter all overall length. The sweet spot and touch was comparable on all the paddles, though I did find the Prism Flash to have a bit shorter reach, which led to a smaller sweet spot. Most of my experience these past two weeks has been with the V7 version of the Prism. It has the same sweet spot and provides the same amount of spin as the original V7. The biggest difference I was expecting between the two is the power. Since the Prism isn't thermoformed, it doesn't have the power and pop that the original V7 has. While I do need to work a bit harder to get more depth on my serves and drives, I still think the Prism V7 provides plenty of power. The Prism V7 did not end up being as soft as I expected, and I would compare its power to that of a Rhombus R3 Pulsar. The Prisms are also noticeably less stiff than the Thermoform paddles. I'd say they're just as plush as a Rhombus R1.16. What I gave up in power with the Prisms, I gained in having a much nicer control and touch that improved my soft game. Drops and resets all felt much easier with this paddle than with Thermoformed ones. My favorite part of the original V7, compared to other elongated thermoform paddles, has always been the balance. It has a 5.3 inch handle versus the 5.5 inch handle other paddles have, like the Carbon 1X and Rhombus Pulsars. Personally, I think that difference in length is negligible, since I like to keep the index finger of my non-dominant hand on the backside of the paddle, so I still feel that I have enough room for both my hands to be on the handle and to hit two-handed backhands. This handle length allows for the paddle face to be a bit larger, which I find improves the sweet spot and balance point. I haven't used the Flash Prism very much, but it's basically a less stiff version of the original Flash with less power, so I highly recommend adding lead tape to it. It's a great option if you want a less head heavier version of the Hyperion, and are okay with a hybrid shape. Currently, they only have the Flash Prism in 16mm, but they are planning on releasing a 14mm version in the future as well. Overall, I was very surprised with the Prism paddles, and the Prism V7 is now my go-to paddle that I would bring with me to a tournament. I've been using it heavily for the past two weeks and have not experienced any issues with the durability. At $89.99 after discount code, this paddle is an absolute steal, considering the closest paddle on the market to it is the Yola Hyperion, which cost $219. The Prism could have easily been priced at a higher price point, and I still would have purchased and enjoyed it. Matic Pro did a really great job with this paddle, and props to them for putting it out at such an affordable price. I have linked my discount code here and in the video description, where you can get $10 off your order from the Vatic Pro website.